Ashley Stackus, and I am the executive director for Dubuque County Right to Life. Um, this video is to announce the winners of our essay contest this year, but I will give you a little bit of background first on what this essay contest is, why we do it, and what it's about. So every year we typically take uh, four to five buses to the National March for Life. It's a pilgrimage uh, that we love to do uh, to light everybody's hearts on fire for life. We go to DC to march with um, hundreds of thousands of individuals from across the country. Every year it is the largest march in the world. It's a fantastic experience uh, and it, it's open to anybody and everybody who wants to go. Uh, it, over the years, it seems like it has transitioned to an 8th graders trip, uh, but it's certainly open to all students of any age, um, come old, come young, whatever it may be, it is open and welcome to you. Uh, but we do this essay contest um, as some preparation for the students to reflect upon why they're truly going on this pilgrimage every year. Um, and a lot of students start out with saying they don't know why they were going. Um, they've been raised pro-life, but they don't maybe necessarily understand why they're pro-life. Uh, and this essay encouraged them to really sit and reflect upon um, those views and to do some research to realize um, why they believe what, what they do. So, um, I, I love the essay. It's very fruitful. Uh, it's great reading what the students have to say. Now, we are not going on the National March for Life to Washington, D.C. this year because of COVID, uh, but we thought it was necessary to still do this essay contest um, because it's a great opportunity for students to think about why they're pro-life or um, maybe to think about the topic because they've never thought about it before. So we had quite a few essay submissions and this was open from anybody from seventh grade to 12th grade. Um, and it is um, separated into two groups. So we'll have, have the essays judged on seventh and eighth graders in, in one group for the middle schoolers. And then we'll have the high schoolers graded separately or judged separately for ninth through 12th grade. Each school will have a winner and then there will be an overall first, second, and third place winner for all the schools, all the students combined. Now, um, each of the middle school and high school winners will receive a t-shirt and a bumper magnet and some goodies from the Dubuque County Right to Life office. Uh, and then our overall first, second, and third place winners will receive monetary gifts. So first place will receive $200, second place will receive $100, and then third place will receive $50. Uh, so these are small little scholarships, but they're fantastic. Uh, and we hope the students um, spend that money wisely. Christmas is around the corner, right? Perfect timing. Um, so this year's uh, theme or topic of the essay was, I am pro-life because. Um, the reason I chose this as the theme is because we had this as the fifth grade poster contest theme last year. And it was so beautiful to see what these fifth graders came up with and what, what they put down on their posters, whether it was words, pictures, images, um, and every everybody's poster was so different. Um, it could be from science to faith, talking about adoption, uh, the gift of life in general, birthdays. Um, it was so broad of a spectrum of great messaging from fifth graders. I wanted to see what seventh through twelfth graders could come up with, um, and they certainly did not disappoint. Uh, our new executive assistant, Julia Schulfer, had the privilege of going through all of the essays and grading them and, and judging um, the top winners and the overall winners. She's only been with us for a couple of weeks, so it was a great little project for her to do. She thoroughly enjoyed it, and she wanted me to share with you that it was an extremely difficult decision uh, to figure out who those top winners were, because everybody did such a great job, and we are so appreciative of your submissions. Um, so I guess without further ado, let's go ahead and announce the winners because I know we have a lot of uh, students who are eager to hear the results. So uh, I will start out with the middle school winners. Uh, the top middle school winner from Marquette Catholic in Bellevue is Liliana Tracy. Good job, Liliana. The middle school winner at Mazzucchelli Middle School in Dubuque is Aaron King. Good job, Aaron. The middle school winner at Seton in Farley is Jacinda McDermott. Good job, Jacinda. 
The middle school winner at St. Joseph in Hazel Green, Wisconsin is Adeline Rowland. Good job, Adeline. And then our high school winner is, uh, from Marquette Catholic in Bellevue is Molly Munster. Uh, I apologize if I didn't uh, pronounce that correctly, Molly. Um, and then Wallert Catholic High School in Dubuque, uh, our high school winner there is Johnny Freund. So great job to all of those students. They will receive a t-shirt, a magnet, and a whole bunch of goodies from the DCRTL office. Now overall winners, I will start with third place. Um, our third place winner who will receive $50 uh, is Ella Schmidt from Wallert Catholic High School. Good job, Ella. Our second place winner is Lucy Ward from Mazzucchelli Middle School. Uh, Lucy will receive $100. Good job, Lucy. And last but not least, our drum roll uh, for our overall first place winner who will receive $200 is Kaylee Coos from Marquette Catholic High School. So good job, Kaylee. Um, and good job to all of the students who participated. We loved all your essays. I, I personally wish if I could give you all $200, um, I wish I could, honest to goodness. Um, everybody did such a great job. Um, and I hope you are all very proud of yourselves. Um, this information, I have a little cheat sheet here. Uh, is going to be in the December newsletter, uh, Dubuque County Right to Life newsletter, so keep an eye out for it. Uh, right here we have Kaylee Coos's, um essay for you to read, our first place winner, and then we have all the students listed for uh, who won during the contest. So uh, we are very thrilled with these results. Um, very grateful for everybody who participated. We just, again, want to say good job. Um, congratulations. I will be in contact with all of you uh, to make sure you get shirt sizes and shirts to you. Okay? Thank you so much. I hope you have a great weekend. Happy Thanksgiving. Merry Christmas. Um, God bless you. Thank you for standing up for life.